nice to meet you. Can I say hello to you? My name's Tom. You can say hello. Hi. I noticed that we were cowering. We had our head down. We were looking up with the eyes. So in other words, we weren't posing a threat to me. We were just very, very scared. Sit down So that's why I felt comfortable enough to lay down on my back and offer my face. It's a kind of a sign of submission to a, to a submissive dog, saying, I'm not going to hurt you. Better now? I could easily go over to this dog, put a muzzle on, strap it on, say, OK, I'm going to lift you up, put you on the table, do my physical exam. You are no longer in the corner. I would have got just as much done. However, what's the lasting damage that would have happened for that pet versus building some trust? You like that? Does that feel good? You can see their reaction when, with just some kindness in that video of just how we, we, we start to trust. I was about seven, eight years old. I was just sitting in the backyard and a big black and tan dog came in. This thing it got down, its tackles were up, and it was getting ready to pounce on me. Bandit broke the chain, jumped over me, tackled the dog as it was approaching me, fought it off, and then they, they ran away. That stuck in my mind as far as like, these animals not only love you, the compassion that came out of that, and just the trust for animals, just made me really think I want to work with animals for a living. The love that I had for my dog saving my life. When you're a kid, you don't appreciate as much reflecting back on it, but it definitely sparked something inside of me. Is Cooper in here? Hi, Cooper. What's going on? Cooper. Hi, buddy. So when I go into Hello. a room and I have positive energy and good vibes, these patients are going to read it right off the bat because when I close that door, I'm either a threat or I'm a friend or somewhere in between. Give them a paw. I want to let them know I have nothing but love for you. So I'm coming in here. I'm your friend. Good job. You touched it. Good job. What I want the world to realize is that through kindness and, and love and compassion, you can change a dog's, any animal really, you can change their perspective on who you are and you could reprogram their entire brain to be like, I could trust this individual. Can I be your friend? Is it okay if I could be your friend? It's not like the end goal is to basically just vaccinate and then send on the way. I want to actually build a, a relationship with them. So that's why I go the extra step. Now that we trust me, we basically want to be next to me. Yeah, you did so good. 